Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Premier, as we end the year, it's worth taking a look back at the legacy you've continued to build in 2019. You've failed to address the key challenges facing Tasmania, the climate emergency, Aboriginal reconciliation, a broken health system, homelessness, bushfire safety, the harm caused by poker machines, and the extinction crisis facing threatened species, to name just a few. Instead, you've been pushing destructive policies designed with only political goals in mind. You've sought to undermine the democratic right of Tasmanians, privatise their wilderness, and to erode judicial independence. Yeah. You've overseen the planned destruction of Aboriginal heritage in Takana, the logging of old growth forests, mass wildlife culls, and you've used taxpayer funds to support coal mining projects. <laughs> All along the way, you've undermined the objects of the Right to Information Act of 2009. Wrong. You refuse to be truthful and transparent with Tasmanians. Yeah. Premier. Do you really want the history books to remember you as a self-interested and weak figure who didn't have the courage for honesty, let alone true leadership? <laughs> Premier, is maintaining power for power's sake worth it? Thank you. The Honourable the Premier. Thank you, Leader of the Opposition. Um, thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank the Leader of the Green for um, the question. Of course, a party that just uh, just two years ago, when uh, when the people of Tasmania had the opportunity to express their views about who they wanted to lead this state yeah, sorry, and its government, they money. elected a majority Liberal government yeah. to continue the work that we started and to deliver more for our state, which is what is happening. Now, there are a number, a number of, uh, of areas that uh, are very much uh, a green agenda, at least a green slant, uh, but uh, when it comes to what we have always said we will deliver, uh, we are doing so. Our economy is now the strongest performing in the country. 15,800 more Tasmanians are employed now than when we came into government. 10,000 were lost during a Labor Green government's term. Our economy is strong. It was in recession under Labor and the Greens. Business confidence levels are high. They were at their lowest in the nation when Labor and the Greens were in government. And we had more people leaving our state, seeking opportunities elsewhere. They are now returning, with opportunities in Tasmania abounding. Now, we Your have also committed, Madam Speaker, not only to managing our economy well, but also our budget, which we are doing balanced and delivering budget surpluses, so that we can invest more into health services. There are more doctors and nurses now employed in our health system, more paramedics, more police officers, uh, more correctional officers. We have more frontline public servants in our health uh, education and community services assisting Tasmanians in need. These are the things that are important to us, as is investing in the infrastructure our growing state needs. And the multi-generational infrastructure program that we have outlined in our budget, supported strongly by the coalition government, the Morrison government bringing forward funding for infrastructure is all about meeting the demand in our state with such a strong economy, growing population, increased tourism, increased exports. We need to invest in infrastructure and we are doing this in an unprecedented way off the back of a strong budget position and which will, as the budget forecasts, create 10,000 more jobs. So, Madam Speaker, whilst the Leader of the Opposition uh, and, uh, well, the true Leader of the Opposition position, I should say, uh, will inevitably, uh, on this final day, when there's an opportunity to present what's most important to, to her, use the opportunity to make some nasty personal attacks, whatever. I couldn't care less. Yeah. Our record stands strong. Our it's state's so in better shape now than when we came into government. It's in better shape you. now why than it was this time last year. People? And we are focused on delivering for Tasmanians, yeah. not worried about squabbling with each other. Yeah. Yeah. 